What's going on everyone? Sneaky Mofo here with a new Cheat Engine tutorial for you. Today I'm going to be showing you stuff that's related to the final tutorial in Cheat Engine with shared code. And then I'm going to show you some stuff with um, finding which addresses an instruction writes to and how that can help you quickly find your way to some other things that might be otherwise problematic. So I'm playing Deadpool and in this game ammo works in a very funky way. I think it counts up 12 like 12 shots per clip. So if you search for the value of 29 up there you're not gonna find what you're looking for. If you do increase decreased and you actually like kept going decreased down this clip until it got down to zero or whatever point it gets to to reload you will bypass, or I'm sorry, you'll bypass, you will pass by that 12, and it makes it seem like ammo is a really screwed up value to find. So anyway, what I ended up doing was, uh, see my bear traps down there? I ended up searching for that number. So I'm going to start by doing that. We're going to search for a uh, 4-byte value of 5, and then I'm going to throw one of those, and search for 4. And search for unchanged value. You see a couple are changing there. Get rid of those. Right, let's throw one more out there. That is hilarious. All right. Exact value. Exactly what it. Oh wait. Wow. Why did it go from five to one? That's really weird. <laughs> All right. Well, let's pretend that that happened, and uh, <laughs> now we need to still do what we're gonna do. All right. So <laughs> what I'll do. Uh, instead of going on that little trip, is we'll start with health up there. Health is a float, so we'll do a first scan for a float of 100. It looks like... And let's get shot by this fool. All right, now we're at 99. All right, so this should be our health. So let's see what happens here. Zoom again. Let's get shot some more. That's not it. So Alt Tab, New Scan. What we'll do is, this is actually good to show you kind of like how this stuff can be sort of problematic. You auto regen after a certain point. So there we're at 100. I know it sits at 100, so we'll just go for decreased values whenever. Gonna Swiss cheese it up. Come on, shoot me. All right. So we can search for decreased value unchanged value. I have my hotkey set up for that. Alright, it should be somewhere around here. Probably one of these two here, but let's just go ahead and pop back in. Unchanged, unchanged, start shooting some more. Decreased. Decreased value. Alright, so it's one of these three, so let's go ahead and see which one we've got here. Let's set this one to 100. Lock it and then res resume here. Oh, that wasn't it. Let's try this one. 100. That one might be it because the one above it changed to 100 as well. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yep. So that was it. Alright, so let's go 100 here. And lock it. Get shot by this guy. Come on. Nope. Maybe it was this one. Well, actually, let's find what writes to it, alright? Let's see, because sometimes whenever you try to lock it, the value won't lock. So, let's see what writes to this address. Alright, so here we have this, show disassembler, alright, um, alright, so, this is after digging around and doing some stuff, this is the one, I do believe, so I'm going to go tools, auto assemble, template, AOB injection, okay, we'll call this AOB health, okay, and so now what we're going to do is instead of XMM0, Actually, we're going to do this. 
we're going to move into this address float of 100 and then we're going to say save or no assign to current cheat table close that all right we're going to stop that for now actually we'll stop and close and now we'll enable the script so this should put a hundred into our help when we get shot here all right there we go so my cheat's working essentially it's infinite help right however now that guy shared help Right. So, what do we do now? Well, the first thing that we can do is we need to compare our health to that person's health. And to do that, we'll dissect the structures with the two memory addresses. The thing is, how do we get his memory address? Well, we could turn this cheat off and we could like shoot him and try to whittle down his health. Or, what we can do is... Click on our script here, get this array of bytes, copy, new scan, array of byte, not string, but array of byte, paste that, first scan, oops, okay, see this video is full of stuff that's like, you might run into it and be like, I don't know why it didn't work, new scan, you need to have this set to write and read memory, alright, now we'll do first scan. Now you right click here and you say disassemble this memory region and we were we were there already but that would have taken us here. I just wanted to show you that. All right, so now what we can do with this instruction is we can right click on it and say find out what addresses this instruction accesses. So now since that instruction we've determined writes health to us the player and the enemy any time or any addresses that this instruction writes to, whether that's ours for health or the enemies, should pop up here in this window. So let's go resume game. I, I so shot him once. With me. He's gonna shoot me. Maybe. There we go. All right. So here we have two addresses we can use to compare. Okay. Sometimes it's not this easy because sometimes a health instruction will be shared code related to a ton of different things and this window will just fill up and your window will slow down or your game will slow down and then you'll have to figure out another way. But we have what we want here. So um, which one was our health? The E11B50. So yeah, it was that center one. So I'm going to delete that address, delete this address going to double click here which will add it to the address here we can stop and close that all right and now what we want to do is we see that ESI plus 340 is the offset of health so this memory address is ESI plus 340 so this address is also at the time that this instruction wrote to it ESI plus 340 so what we want to do there is copy these addresses all right, and paste that one and you could say like player health because sometimes you can have a bunch of enemies and you can uh, get confused of which address is yours if they're really close these are really far in distance you know 39E versus 184 it's pretty easy to see which one was enemy which one was uh, player copy that one. You can control A to add to the same group or control G to create a new group. The difference is with group 2, um, differences will be shown in purple. All right. So what we want to do is minus 340 here because remember ESI plus 340 equals this address right here. So we want to minus 340 to get to like the base of the structure presumably. So minus 340 structures define new structure we'll call it health yes yep so you could go all the way to 340 offset 340 right here alright and so now we can see a couple of things here 
below our actual health is like the max value of health. So the enemy's max health is 50, ours is 100. Presumably though, as you're fighting bosses, you're going to run into enemies that this changes. So we could write a cheat that says, you know, if this instruction, you know, if the offset 344 contains 100, then don't do anything. But anything else, you know, pass through as normal. But the problem is if we find an enemy that has 100 max health along with us, then we're going to run into the same problem where their health will not, uh, you know, decrease. So what you have to do is go through this and look for per things that are purple. And those are differences between the two. And now the trick is finding two things that you can reference that are different that will always be different and always be the same values that you see here while you're digging through this stuff. So this is where you could start all the way from the top and, you know, try to find um, things that you would be able to reference. And you, it might take you a while to work on the cheat to get it completely figured out. Um, let me go into my Cheat Engine Projects, Deadpool, First Run Dissected Health. See, now this is what I'll do sometimes. I'll file, save values, and then I'll shut the game down and I'll do it again. And then that way, whenever you do it again, you can compare the results from that new scan to the old scan after you've first gone through and tried to identify, you know, a couple of things that you could use. All right, so here offset 470 was something I was able to use in the cheat that I made. So 340 is our health, right? 340 right uh, here. I went all the way to 470. Where was that at? Right there, offset 470. I went down to 470, and here I found this. 1 and 0. So, so far... I'm one, and enemies are zero. It's always been that way with as much as I've gone through and killed and like researched in the game. So then what you can do is create your cheat based on that offset. So we can say Tools, Auto Assemble, Template, AOB Injection, OK. We'll call it AOB Health. And we'll do a couple of fun things here. First thing we'll do, create a label called cheat. Then we'll create a label called OHK one hit kill because we can do some fun stuff now that we found this. All right. So uh, code is the original you know instruction basically so we'll keep that as it is. So once it runs the the AOB scan it's gonna jump to AOB health which is right here and then that's gonna jump to code here. We want to change that. We want it to jump to cheat because that's where we're going to start off here. So now under new mem we go cheat and then we want to do a compare. We want to compare this to 1. 1 is us. 1 is us. All right, so at offset 470, we want to change this to 470. Compare that to 1. If it's not us, okay, jump if not equal to OHK, which will be one hit kill. <clears throat> if you didn't want to do the one hit kill, you could say JNE code. And what that would do is check for us. If it's not us, it's just going to jump to code and do what it would normally do. So you would shoot enemies and their health would decrease as normal. But we want to go for a one hit kill condition. So we're going to jump to OHK. If it is us, then what we want to do is move Control C move float 100 into health. Then we jump to return. Alright, so now for a one hit kill we say compare, actually we'll just copy this line here, control C, 
compare that to 0. All right. Jump if not equal to code. So if there's like an enemy that pops out or something that's like negative 1 or 2 or 3, we want a provision for that. Otherwise, the game might crash, you know, if we don't give it something to go off of with handling another number that we're not provisioning for here. Jump if not equal to code. All right. If it is, then we're just going to move 0 into health and then jump to return. All right. So I would go through here and clean all this up and make it look different, but this serves the purpose. So now we can say file assigned to current sheet table, close that. Um, let's enable it. Boom. Resume game. All right, let's get shot. Come on, guy. All right, we got shot there. Now we're going to shoot him. Bet you think I couldn't be that act. He's dead. So now let's try a different gun. Equip. Backspace. Or, I'm sorry, back there. Huh. What do these guys want with Mr. Moneybags? Let's find these other guys butter. here. Let's get They've shot. They've got our mark. No mark. No money. All right. One shot. Shot. Use our sword. Would it kill you to do shot. a better job killing them? One shot. So there we go. So we not only gave ourselves infinite health, but we created a one-hit kill condition, all based around the same instruction that we found. Right? Alright, so that's pretty much it. That's what I wanted to show you. So that's how finding what which addresses an instruction writes to can be very very helpful um you know whenever you're dealing with shared code it's also helpful to just to like dig around and see what else an instruction might be messing with you know you never know so that was for health what i was going to do was for ammo i had found where my grenades were the value of my grenades right and because the instruction for the grenades is shared with uh, every other weapon with ammo, I found it, I right-clicked on it, I said find which addresses the instruction accesses, and then I went and shot the gun, and then that memory address popped up on that list that you saw. So then I could go in and check out that memory address, find what you know writes to it, what accesses it, this and that, and dig around, and I figured out what I needed to figure out. You know, So... There you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I got plenty more of these to come. I got a huge list of Cheat Engine video ideas. I've got a new video intro made, which I'm going to show you here real quick. So for those of you who stuck around, this is going to be the thing that's in my new videos. Yeah. All right. So anyway, that's going to be my new video intro. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, but yeah, 2016 is going to be a pretty good year, I think. So get ready for a lot more Cheat Engine stuff and prepare to get your learn on. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Check out my other Cheat Engine videos. And yeah, I'll just see you guys in the next video. Take care.